Hi, I'm Melissa. And my name is Renee. And we're gonna to talk to you about our campus. And we're gonna also talk about our friends around the campus, the, the Blue, Blue Jays. Jays. <laughs> the Blue Jay, Cyanocita crisata, part of the Corvid family, just like the American crow and the magpies. They're mostly identifiable with their blue, white, and black plumage and their bright blue crest. Amazingly, the blue comes from the light reflecting off the melanin in their feathers. According to the Smithsonian, scientists theorize that birds look blue for the same reason the sky looks blue. Red and yellow wavelengths pass through the atmosphere, but the shorter blue wavelengths bounce off the particles and scatter, emitting a blue glow in every direction. Blue jays can be mostly found in forests. Specifically, they like to nest in oak trees. However, they're more abundant near forest edges than they are in the deep forest. They can be found in the eastern United States and a little bit of Canada, and they are usually resident species with a few birds migrating on their own. The migra migration patterns of blue jays are mis still misunderstood, but regardless, you can find blue jays on campus year round. Right now we are close to Allegheny Commons, and there's a forest over this way, and there's more like town, woodland area, edge forest over this way. In the background you can hear the blue jays making their alarm call. And there are also some chickadees that are making some chirps as well in the background. Um, however, I'd like to talk a little bit about how um, blue jays are omnivores, even though they are totally nuts for nuts. They also Check out that eat acorn. other things. It's they're beautiful. also part of the Corvid family, so they're scavenging for a lot of different types of food. They've got a mixed um, diet going on there. And that's just a really cool fact about blue jays. We frequently see blue jays around the gator quad flying around the oak trees outside the front of the campus center. Sometimes you can see blue jays flying around campus collecting acorns from this location to their respective nests. A nice place to see this in action is on top of the bridge on the roof. Blue jays carry food in their throat and upper esophagus, an area called a golar pouch. They may store two to three acorns in the pouch, another one in their mouth, and one more at the tip of the bill. In this way, they can carry out five acorns at a time to store for later feeding. That's a lot of acorns! Holy moly! This is another great place to find blue jays on campus. This is an area that is half forested and half open, so it gives you a really good chance to see the blue jays flying overhead. Um, this woods is filled with sycamore trees, maples, and oak trees, so you can tend to see them flying out with nuts flying out of the woods, which is really awesome. Sometimes if you listen, you'll even be able to hear their calls. Some people like to consider their calls aggressive or annoying because of how loud and shrill they are, but it's a good indicator of what species are around. Uh, blue jays also like to interact with other species in the woods, such as chipmunks and other species of birds. So you can sometimes hear those interactions between the blue jays and other species. So, what you can maybe hear frequently in a little bit in the background is that the blue jay is an alarm When a blue jay gives an alarm call, it also signals to other organisms in the forest or woodland area that there may be predators in the area. So, a perfect example of where you can see this is hearing the blue jay alarm call. There will be the first to make that alarm call, and then chipmunks will then make a repetitive And if you can hear that in the background right now, that's the sound that we're hearing at the moment. So we talked about seeing blue jays on campus. Now let's talk to some fellow neighbors of ours to see how they're viewing blue jays on campus as well. My name is Rebecca Montgomery. I'm a senior at Allegheny. I'm an environmental science and biology double major. And I really like birds and I enjoy collecting their feathers. And I have some blue jay feathers that I will show you. Fun fact about this blue jay feather is that I know exactly which blue jay it came from, which was a blue jay that would fly back and forth in front of this yard, and I would see it all the time, and then it dropped its feather, and I found it, so I know this feather personally. Hi, my name's Chloe, and this is a collection of things that I found outside, and here are some bird feathers, and I found a blue jay feather the other day. Hi, my name is Renee Benoit, and today I'm going to be showing you how I would go about making a blue jay in a scientific illustration 2D, in the two dimensions. 
what I drew was a blue jay adult, um, a breeding adult. The females look about the same. You'll notice with a blue jay that it has a crest, which is on top of its crown, on top of its head, um, and it's blue. And then it's got like this banner of black around its head that goes like just between um, the belly and the head around the chest area. It's very thin black there. It's got a decently sized beak, which is particularly good for collecting acorns and nuts. A blue jay also has a bit on its face, if we're paying attention more to the face details again. It's got a mask that's like just above the part, the bridge of the beak between it where the crest starts. It's a very thin mask and it's more like a, a black eye line that goes from the beak to the back of the eye. And it's very thin. The back of the blue jay is blue, or what we perceive as blue, according to light. And then what you can tell with a blue jay is that it's got this uh, white belly. If we want to pay attention more to the detail on the wings, on the back of the wings, there's a lot of detail going on there. Um, there's a strip of white. There's a bar of black and blue, and this is a different type of, it's more like an iridescent light blue than the regular feathers by the back of the bird and by the crest. When a blue jay flies, you can see that the tail feathers make like this, um, they flatten out a bit, and it's kind of like a diamond shape, and so the feathers beneath that are more of a, like a dark, darker color, and the white belly kind of stops by the reproductive area of the blue jay. And if we want to go to looking below the belly of the blue jay, this guy has got some pretty crazy feet going on. They're not that crazy. <laughs> uh, but they're black feet with very sharp kind of claws. This is good for grasping onto tree branches and of know, structures of that nature so that blue jays can get at the nuts on the trees. That is what they are good at, what they are made for, made to do.